Let's check, let's check, let's check. Hello, 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 everybody. Good, good evening. Welcome to this. Good evening, teacher. It's nice to have you. How are you? Tell me, how's the weather over there? How's the weather? Good evening. Thank you so much. Good evening. How's the weather? What is happening? Mm -hmm. It's raining now. It's raining now. It's raining, right? That is true. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. I hope everything goes well and we don't get stuck by this uh, rainy, uh, let's say, um, night. Thank you so much for being here. Just give me a minute while I get the information uh, so we can start. Um, Working, okay. Yes, here we go. Okie dokie. Uh, what is the material? Oh, here we have the material. Thank you so much uh, for being here. Um, as you may know, we have Tuesday, another beautiful day with a bunch of things to do. I'm gonna let you know what's gonna be today's agenda. Just. Just give me a minute, please. Sorry. Oh, this is not the class. What about, oh, this one was yesterday. Oh, this one is the one for today. Okay, just give me a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, so here we go. As you may know, we're working with section number three. May I tell you order? That's the title of this section. On today's class, we're gonna work with so, to, neither, and either. So we're gonna take a look on the different examples and how do we use this one in English, okay? We're gonna have class number six. Welcome, this is pre-intermediate English. Module number three. It's raining in some places. That's what I know so far. And I hope everything goes well here. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, people. Alejandra is here. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I'm good. What about you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. How is the weather? How is the Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay. Tell me, Alejandra, how is the weather? How is the weather? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? As you may know, we have this question that is very common. Well, in English about how is the weather, which is this one, right? Yes. Yeah. How is the weather? Yeah. Oh, yeah. come on, give me a break. The weather, yes. How is the weather? And how do you answer this question? Okay, how is the weather? How is the weather? And you remember, right? It's, oh, I'm sorry, it's rainy, like right now. It's raining. It's rainy, it's rainy okay. Right. Right also, you can say it's, um, I don't know, uh, sunny, if the sun is up. Also, you can say it's, uh, Jesus, it's cloudy. Okay, Alejandra? Yes, yeah, so Never. when somebody asks uh, you, Alejandra, teacher. yes. Never at this hour. Teacher, sunny. Yes. Teacher, how do you say it está a punto o próximamente a llover? It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going, it's to, going rain. to rain. Exactly. Thank you, right? Perfect. Okay. So when somebody asks you, hey, how's the weather? You can say it's rainy, it's sunny, or you can say it's cloudy. Yes. It's cloudy as well. You can say that about the weather because it's a very common question in English. And it is important for you to know how to answer these questions. Okay, Doc. Let's begin with this content for today. We're going to have this information. I need you to please 
read what you see here on the screen. Do me a favor, Maria Del Mi Hernandez de Montoya, please. Read mm. the information that is in light blue color, please. Thank you. Okay. As San Francisco attract more than 16 million visitors a year. There are many things to do in the city, from shopping as fisherman, wharfs, uh, wharf, to walking over the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, why visitors come all the all year? The summer is the most popular time. It never gets extremely cold or hot in San Francisco, but it can be fairly cool much of the time. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Luis, tell me, what is in the picture, Luis? What is in the picture? Is Good evening. Is San Francisco Bridge in the United States. Thank you so much, Ray. Very good. What is the name of that bridge, Luis? Uh, Golden State. Golden Gate Bridge. Is, exactly. Is the, is the icon of uh, a team of ba ba basketball. Yes, exactly. Also, I think we have it in a movie that is from X-Men. Yes. I think X-Men number three, we have this bridge. For basketball? Uh, Oh, yes, that is true. That is true, right? Yeah. Very okay. good. Very good. But it's a very famous bridge that we have in this country. Well, pretty much in this city, right? It's a big city. Okay. okay. Um, what a word question. Uh, let me see. What is uh, Esmeralda, Figueroa, Serrano? Thank you. What is one of the most interesting thing, okay, or cities to visit here in El Salvador? That is, what is one city that you can say, oh, that is very interesting here in El Salvador that you recommend to visit? Well, I think Fuchitoto is a beautiful city, um, historical too. Um, I, I think that um, Ataco. Ataco is another beautiful place to visit. Very good. Um, Cerro Verde, I like the view oh. of the the mountain in the uh, crater of the volcano. Yes. I love. I love the the weather. Oh, the weather. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. Um, that is correct. That is correct. Um, in some other uh, like beaches, beach, beach. Uh, beaches. Um, mm -hmm. we have... Beaches. Um, like San Diego. San Diego, that's right. San Diego, right. San Diego is in La Paz, right? Um, I think mm. so. <laughs> Okay. I don't know, <laughs> but oh, that's I... that's very good. Yes, very good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Exactly right. So we have these uh, beautiful places here in El Salvador that are very popular somehow. Yes, yeah, we have some places that are very popular and like a big cities, right? Uh, one of the my best cities that I recommend to visit is San Miguel. That is one of my favorite. Also, Santa Rosa de Lima is quite small, but the people there is very nice. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. there like is very nice. Yeah. yeah. So all of them are like very nice people. Um, um, okay. Let's get with this video, which is related to the grammar we are going to have today. I need you to listen and what? Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. 
don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of to is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. To. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary. Plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Hi, did you Thank you. So yesterday we were having a little bit of this thing. How do we agree or disagree with somebody or with the opinion of something, right? And today we're going to have this thing. Look at the pictures over there. Okay. So what I want you to do is like, tell me one like example, like this one, for example, if you see here, this is my opinion, right? This is like my expression, right? You can say, oh, and crazy about Italian food. Then somebody may say, may agree or somebody may disagree with you, right? So you can say, so am I, or I am too, or I am not, yeah? So the idea is to make up some sentences and then somebody else need to agree or somebody else needs to disagree with your opinion, right? And this is the difficult part here. For example, we have the first one, which is bland. Okay. What else do we have over there? We have delicious. We have greasy, healthy. Look at this one. Rich, salty, and spicy. Okay. So we are going to make up some sentences using this vocabulary in here, okay? Yes, for example, what is the sentencing number one? Mm -hmm. 
What is the sentencing number one? For example, the rice is blunt, I think. I don't know. Okay, thank you. So the rice is bland. Mm. Yeah. And and how can we disagree or agree with this one? Yes. Because you can you you told me like this one, right? For example, the rice is bland. Yes. So the rice is uh bland. That's what you're telling me, right? Yeah. So that is your sentence. But here, if you look at here, in the examples here, we have, I like, I can't, I am not. So here in the examples, you need to show that you like something, yes? Or that you, I don't know, dislike something, yes? So in the sentences here, the rice is blunt, the sentence is correct, however, no me está mostrando, right? If you like something or if you don't like th that one. Yes? Maybe it can be, yeah. I like the rice brand. Oh, okay, very good. Maybe, let's see. I like the rice brand. Yes? I like the rice brand. Yeah? And like here, somebody like say, oh, I agree or disagree. How do we show agreement or disagreement on this sentence here? So do I disagree? So agree. Oh, okay. Very good. So we can say, we can say, very good. Okay. So do. So do I. So do I. Okay. What else? I do too. Oh, very good. I, oh, give me a minute, please. I do too. Yes, very good. Yes, so let me, let me show you, let me show you. So you can, you can, oh, this one, right. Oh, Jesus, give me a minute. Yes, in the examples that your classmate gave me, this this one, right? I like Japanese food and... Ella mostró, right? Ella agree with me y me dice, so do I, because it's simple present, and I do too. And I did a mistake because I forgot the double T. Okay? Yeah. Very good. Yes? I'm sorry here. Let me, oh, Jesus. Give me a break. I'm sorry. <laughs> let me, let me, ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> I like uh, the rice bland, you tell me, right? Yeah. Very good. And you tell me, I do, I do. do. And the other one? I'm sorry, I forgot. So do I. Very good. So do I. Very good. So I'm showing, um, yes? Agreement about something, right? I agree with 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 your opinion about the way you like rice, and but this is agree. What about if you disagree with that opinion? So you can say, you can say, right, like this one. Oh, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Exactly, right? No, I don't. Remember, because the sentence is simple present. Entonces. Si la sentence is simple present, pues usted tiene que trabajar con simple present as well. Yes? So here, esto es para, pues, that you agree with something. And if you disagree, you can say, you can say, um, well, I don't. Disagree neither. I don't. Okay? I don't like it. Yes. Yeah, I don't like it. Right? Yes. Yeah. I don't like it. Right? So this is like, in the first one, I keep, just to the acuerdo, right? Yes, I do too. So do I. But then in the negative, I say, I don't like it. Okay? Entonces, tiene que fijarse, something very good. Cuando usted le dicen algo, right? 
que le gusta o no le gusta. Tiene que fijarse cómo va estructurado. Por ejemplo, acá la sentence is simple present. Como la sentence es simple present, si yo pues puedo utilizar to or so. Y tengo que utilizar la estructura del simple present que es do. I do to, so do I. Y si yo voy a mostrar disagreement, que no estoy de acuerdo, siempre con el simple present. I don't like it. Okay. No sé si, bueno, ok, vamos a ver more examples. What about delicious? Yes. Uh, chocolate. Ok, no, but this picture here. Oh, the bread. Mm, pastry. Ok, pero ¿cómo muestro yo, por ejemplo, pues yo digo algo that I like or I dislike? Pero ya no voy a utilizar el simple present. Vamos a ver. Aquí tenemos otros ejemplos, ¿verdad? Right? Mm -hmm. I don't like. No, because I don't like is simple present. Okay. Oh, the negative. In negative. Oh, that's what you're saying? Okay, very good. Thank you. In negative. I don't like. Okay, I'm going to write it here. Pues voy a escribirlo here, okay? Yes, no sé si lo ven bien. ¿Lo ven bien? Yes, do you see it very good? Yes. Okay, perfect. I don't like, you tell me, right? I don't like pastry. Yes. I don't like pastry. Yes. Entonces vengo yo y voy a mostrar un disagreement. Well, perdón, voy a mostrar que estoy de acuerdo con eso que dice, right? I don't like pastry. Okay? I don't like pastry. So yes. do I? So do I? Neither. Neither am I. Okay. I can't. I don't. Neither. Neither. Do I? Neither. Do I? Neither do I? Okay. Oh, I don't either. Oh, neither am I. I don't either. I don't. I don't either. Okay. Let's check. So, esto es para mostrar que I agree with that person. Vamos a ver. Yeah. Quiero un, una pregunta. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de neither y, y either? Pues los dos ¿Es? significan lo mismo. Lo mismo, pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? ¿Hay una diferencia, no? Um, no. Uno va al principio y otro al final. Yes, very good. That is the difference. En la posi posición. Yes. Yes. For example, okay. if you see, this is the structure. I don't like salty food. I don't like pastry. No me gusta el pan dulce, right? I don't like pastry, right? Entonces, you can say, neither do I, neither goes at the beginning. Yes. And I don't either. So either here goes at the end. Okay. okay. So that you are showing like you agree with the person. And if you disagree, you need to say the opposite. Yes. You need to say the opposite. What is the opposite of neither do I or I don't either? Or what is the opposite of I don't like pastry? What is the opposite? I like pastry. Oh, very good. I like. Oh, let's say I like it. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. Yeah. Yes. En, en eso muestro yo. Oh, porque primero me dice I don't like pastry. Pero yo no estoy de acuerdo, right? Entonces yo le digo I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I disagree with the person. Yes. I don't know if you get it like 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 that. Yes. Yes. Yes, people. Yeah. Questions about this? Okay, we have greasy. Give me an example with greasy. Yes. I don't like greasy food. Oh, very good. Yes. So you can say again. I'm going to write it here. Uh, I don't like mm, greasy food. 
um, greasy food. Very good. Like, I don't like greasy food, right? Yes. How do you agree with this or how you disagree with this? Neither do I. Neither. Oh, 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 very good. Neither. One more time. Neither. Uh, oh, Jesus. Neither. I think I did a mistake. Let me check. Neither do I. And what is the other one? I don't either. I don't. Exactly. Either. I don't either. Right? Yes. So this is the way you, you, you do it. Oh, give me a minute. This is the way you show uh, agreement with something. Right? You agree. Neither. Oh, yes. I did a mistake. I'm sorry. I did a mistake with the spelling. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I switched the letters. That's why. The correct one is this one. Uh, here we go. Neither. Neither do I. Okay. And the other one is correct, right? Neither do I. So here, uh, there is a misspelling here. Tiene que cambiarlo, right? Neither. Oh, Jesus. Neither do I. Right? So this is to show agreement with the expression, right? Somebody says, I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Yes? Pero si yo quiero disagree with this person, ¿cómo le digo? How do I, how do I disagree with this person? I like it. I oh, like it. yes. I like it. Um, yes, I like it. I can say also it's my favorite food. You can say different expressions, but that should be positive about the food you're talking about. Yes. Okay. What about healthy? I'm crazy about healthy food. Oh, Maybe. very good. That is right. Yes, I'm crazy about healthy about having i will write having having um healthy healthy food right so you say oh i'm crazy about having healthy food right having is eating right so eating very good i'm crazy about having healthy food uh show me that you agree with this expression please so can i Okay. So, 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 am I? Yeah, X, X, so X. Am I. Oh, very good, very good. I am two. Vamos con lo basic, right? I am two. Okay. Very good. And what is the other one? You tell me. Tell me. So am I. So am I. So am I. So. Am I? So am I, right? One more time. Vamos a regresar a la picture, right? Here, mire. Mire. I'm crazy about having healthy food. So am I. So am I. I am, comma, two. Yes? So, what about what is something that you disagree? I'm crazy about having healthy food. How you disagree with this one? Neither do I. No, I'm sorry. I am not. No, I'm not. Neither. Neither am I. Okay, one more time. Let me show you the picture. Give me a minute. Look at this one. Okay. It's very simple. It's very simple. Remember oh, verb to be. I am not. Oh, very good. Not. Okay. I'm not. I am not either. I am I'm not. not. I'm not. Exactly. I'm not. I'm not. Right? It's, it's very simple, right? It's very simple. Tiene que fijarse one more time. Be careful. Porque tiene que fijarse con el tipo de estructura que tenemos. Si aquí arriba tenemos el verb to be, pues lo que le sigue para mostrar that you agree, Va a ir con el verb to be. O si usted mm -hmm. no está de acuerdo, you disagree, goes with verb to be. Yes. Entonces, 
One more time. One more time. Be careful porque tiene que ir jugando con eso, right? One more time. Let's get back to the picture. Okay. Verb to be, verb to be, verb to be, verb to be. Yes? Everything is in context. Yeah? The next one. Modal can. Can, can, can. Yes? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Thank you. Simple present, simple present, simple present, simple present. Yes? Again, verb to be, pero voy a utilizar neither and also either. Yes? Y aquí, here, with the disagree, one more time, verb to be. Also, can't, right? Again, here I need to use neither, can, right? Can't, either. And here, we use a normal thing, right? I love it, yes. The other one is simple present, but negative. I don't like salty food. Again, simple present, neither do, either don't. And then, if you disagree with simple present. So you need to be playing with this grammar tenses so you can disagree or agree with something. Yes? Okay. Uh, that is the difficult part on how. Let me take the attendance. I'm sorry. Give me some minutes while I get the attendance, please. Oh, okay. Uh, here we go. When you hear your beautiful name, say, please, and I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Present. Wonderful. Good evening. Nice to have you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Here I am. Wonderful. Good evening. Nice to have you. Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. Thank you so much and welcome. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Thank you so much and good evening. Um, Blanca Estela Lara Lopez. Blanca Estela Lara Lopez. Now she is in Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado Maldonado. Present. Thank you so much and good evening. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Uh, Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present, mister. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Nice to have you. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. Present, teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Catherine Joana Calzadilla Alas. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Kenia Roxana Ayala de Velázquez. Kenia Roxana Ayala de Velázquez. No, she isn't. What about Luis Miguel Mejía Alas? Luis Miguel present, Mejía present Alas. Teacher. Thank you, Luis. Welcome. Nice to have you. María Delmi Hernández de Montoya. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you again. Sandra Lisset Elizondo Merino. Good evening. Thank you so much and welcome. Cindy Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. And Ursula Jamilet Cornejo Martinez. Ursula Jamilet. Hello. I'm here. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here and welcome. Let me check the chat on soon really quick. So in case somebody is here and I didn't, uh, okay, Kenya, let's see if we have Kenya here. Uh, well, Luis is here, also Gabriela, but no Kenya, I don't see Kenya. What about uh, Blanca? Let me see if Blanca is in the chat. Um, no, she isn't, okay. Um, let's get back, okay. With this one, again, we need practice so we can be like working with oh so if i'm talking about the verb to be i need to use the verb to be if i'm talking about the can i need to use so can i or i can too or neither can i or i can't either yes so we need to be playing with this um structure right and don't forget 
that you can make up some sentence depending on the context you're talking about. Here, we have right responses to show agreement with these statements, then compare. So we're gonna have some sentences like, I'm not crazy about Italian food. How do you agree with this thing? How do you agree with this expression? Uh -huh. Tell me, please. Neither I am, am I. Oh, very good. The first option. Very good. That is correct. Neither. Neither. Am I, you tell me, right? Am I. Neither am I. Very good. And what is the other option? I'm not either. Yeah. Beautiful. It's wonderful. I'm not, I'm sorry. Not either. I'm sorry. Yeah, either. I'm not either. Very good. Right? So there is one characteristic, one more time, which is verb to be, verb to be. Yes? What about number two? I can eat any kind of food. So can I? So can I? So can I? Give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. Okay. So. So can I? So can I? And I can too. I can too. Very good. I can too. Yes, like this. Uh, one. Positive. Positive. Oh, positive. Positive. Okay. Very good. I can't too. Very good. Yeah, wonderful. Mm -hmm. What about number three? So do I. So do I. Oh, so do I. Very good. Perfect. So do I. What is the other option? I do too. Beautiful. I do, comma, two. I do too. Yes. Yes. Very good. What about number four? Neither. Neither can I. Number four is neither can I? Yes. Oh, I can either. Neither can I. And you told me I I can, can either. Negative. Negative. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, give me a minute. Either. either. Very good. Yes. Thank you. What about the number five? Neither, neither, neither do I. Neither do I. Very good. Neither do I. I don't either. I not either. I don't. I don't either. Either. Very good. I'm sorry. I don't either. Very good. What about I'm not in the mood for something spicy? So I. So, so, am I, so am I. So am I. What is I. the other option? I am too. I am too. I'm sorry. Oh, give me a minute. I am too. Very good. What about I'm tired of fast food? I'm tired of. Excuse me. So do I. So do I. So can I. No, I'm sorry. So am I. And... Hey, no, I'm sorry. 
So do I. You told me, right? So do I. Yes. No, I think it's not so do I. So am I. <laughs> so am I. Okay, very good. So am I. I'm tired of fast food. So am I. And what is the other option? Am I too? I am. Too. I am good. too. Because it's verb to be, right? If you send a sentence, then it's verb to be here. So that is why. And we use neither also here. Well, that is something is negative. Very good. What about number eight? Neither do I. Very good. Very good. Neither do I. And what is the other option? I don't either. Beautiful. I don't either. Very good. Thank you. I always eat healthy food. So do I. So do I. Oh, very good. Very good. So do I. So do I. And what is the other option? I do too. I do too. I do too. Oh, sorry. I forgot. I do too. Thank you. What about number 10? Neither can I. Neither can I. Very good. Neither can I. What is the other option? I don't. I can't. I can't either. I can't either. Yes. I can't either. A negative, right? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yes, beautiful. Negative. I can't either. So this is the way we work with this man to show agreement about something or if you disagree with something. There is one characteristic that your classmates were talking about, and that is something related to identify. Mire, cuando tenemos negative, vamos neither. Yes. Why? Can like, I? como I... yo tampoco. Exact. Yo tampoco puedo. Exact. Right. Entonces, si usted se fija, la mayoría que llevan negatives van con neither or either. So, I'm not crazy about Italian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Otra negative. I can stand greasy food. Neither can I. I can either. Otra negative. I don't like salty food. Neither do I. I don't either. Okay. Ahora, las que van a firmate, mire, vamos con so can I. I can too. So am I. I am too. So am I. I am too. Aquí tengo otra vez. I always eat healthy food. So do I. I do too. Yes. Entonces, las afirmative van a ir la mayoría de casos con so can I or to. Yes. Con so and to. Y las que son negative van a ir con either, either and either. And either. Solo acuérdese que cuando tenemos either va a ir can't, don't, and I am not. So va a ir negative. Yes. Right. Okay. So this is the way we show agreement or if we like agree or disagree with something in a very short way. Yes. So cuando alguien le diga, I don't, I don't like pizza. Yes. ¿Cómo demuestra usted that you agree with that person? Neither do I. Exactly. So do I. There do I. Neither do I or I Neither don't do. either. Um, Very good. If somebody say to you, I don't like pollo campero, right? What is your what is your uh agreement? Really I do there <laughs> Absolutely, right? <laughs> See, usted disagree. Really? I do. I do love. Yes. Yes. What about <laughs> Chongenga? I don't like Chongenga. Mm -hmm. What is Chongenga? What is the meaning of Chongenga? What is that? Neither do I. Party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the way we do it, right? When somebody say, oh, I really love I really love um 
rock music. I really love rock music. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do I? Oh, yes. Very good, right? So do I. So do I. Very good. So don't forget that you need to be playing with this one. And my recommendation is the more you practice, the more you learn. So, for example, estas expressions las escuchamos a lot. Yes, right? A lot. So, my recommendation is practice this agreement statement or this agreement statement. Yes? So, you can show this one. Okay? Because, si no lo utilizamos, we tend to forget. We tend to forget what we are learning. Okay? Any question about this? I have a question. Uh, when we use neither or either, o sea, este, en, en la misma situación, o cada una tiene su situación? Esa es mi pequeñita duda. Ok, sí, perfect. Uh, la característica está en la statement que usted le diga. Yes. Si usted la statement que le dicen es una negative, I can stand, I don't like, or I am, I am not. Entonces, si la statement que le dice a usted es negative, usted tiene two options de contestar or de show agreement o decir, oh, estoy de acuerdo, right? Yes, with that person. You can say neither or you can say either. Las dos significan lo mismo, right? The different is, ¿cómo va? Una va al principio y la otra va al final. And, la primera le va a quedar affirmative, neither do I. Y esta le va a quedar negative, with either. I don't either. Yes? Okay, I get it. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, so... En la mayoría de casos siempre vamos con so can I, so do I, yes, uh, so am I, I am too, yeah, we can use this when, 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 when we agree with somebody, right? And don't forget, don't forget, porque todas estas que tenemos acá son para cuando usted está de acuerdo con algo o cuando usted no está de acuerdo con algo. Todas estas que hemos escrito acá son para estar de acuerdo o estar en desacuerdo. Para estar y no estar de acuerdo. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Todas son para estar de acuerdo. Todas. Uh, okay. All of them. Yes. Todas están, estas respuestas son para estar de acuerdo with the person. Ya sea okay, si. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exact. Ya sea si la expression is affirmative or negative. It doesn't matter. At the end, you agree with the person. But if you disagree, for example, I'm not crazy about Italian food. Y yo no estoy de acuerdo con esta person. ¿Cómo digo eso? I like it. Okay. Very good. I like um, Italian food. I like Yes. Right? Yes, so I like Italian food. ¿Qué hago? Digo una sentence que vaya al contrario de la que primera que me dice, de la original. Yes. Exactly. Very okay. good. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So this is the way we show disagreement with something, right? You say something different. Yes. Right. Very good. Any questions about this? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's continue. Okay, we have another example here. Let's take a look. What is that thing? This one. Show that you agree with. I'm sorry, write sentence with the words given. In parentheses, we have the expression either. Or also here we have so. Yes. For example, in the first picture, Alejandra. What is Alejandra? Alejandra, oh Jesus, Alejandra, I think she left. Okay, um, let me pick another one. Andrea Esmeralda Flores, tell me, what is the food that we see that we see here in this picture? 
Hamburger, French fry, and soda. Soda, very good. Okay, read the example, please, and also the letter B answer. Uh, el de la letter B. Yes. I don't eat no, letter French number fries. letter A and no. letter B. I'm sorry. Los dos. Ah, letter A and letter B. I don't want fast food tonight. Really, I do. Oh, no, I'm sorry. In, just, just read the example. In, no. no, I don't want okay. fast food ah, okay. tonight. I don't. That fast food tonight, I don't either. Very good. Either. Repeat, Andrea. Either. 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 Yes, very good, Andrea. Great job. I don't yes. either. One more time, please, Andrea. I don't want, want fast food tonight. I don't either. Beautiful. That is correct. Very good. Okay. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Number two is for you. Read letter A and then agree with the person using so. I really like Mexican food. I, yes. So do yes. I. So do I. Very good. So do I. Okay, very good. What is the food that we have in this uh, plate or Blanca? Tacos. Taquitos, right? Look at this one. Yeah. Taquitos, very good. So do I. So do I. That's what we have, this expression. So you agree. You agree with this person, right? Very good. Let's take a look at the next one. Okie dokie. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Hello. I'm Tell good. me, what do you see here in this picture? Pasta. Oh, it's pasta, right? Read letter A and then agree with this person. Thank you. I'm in the mood for Italian food. Uh, me too. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Give me another yeah. option. And I am too. Oh, very good. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, very good. Cindy, where to be? I am too. Beautiful. You see? I'm in the I'm in the mood for Italian food. I am too. Yes. What is other option of like answering this this sentence? Oh no, because we have two, right? Yeah, no, no, the other option. I'm sorry, I my mistake. Gabriela Noemi. Hello, Gabriela. Good evening. Hello, Mr. Good oh, evening. how are you? Um, so far, so good. Oh, that sounds great. Listen, uh, number four, please read the sentence, letter A, and then agree with this person. Okay. I can stand spicy food. Mm -hmm. Um... I I can no mm, neither can I beautiful that is correct yes neither okay neither, neither can, I. can I very good fantastic right so okay. this is the way we do it very good wonderful nice job people Okay, let me check, let me check. Luis, the next one is for you, Luis. Tell me, please, what do you see here in this picture? Hello, Luis. Are you here? I think Luis left. Yeah, because of the internet connection problem, maybe. Um, Let me pick another one. Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Can you participate, Alejandra? Yes? No? Okay. I think she's busy. Or maybe she doesn't have the chance to do it. What about you, Blanca? Es, I'm sorry, El, Elba Esmeralda Figueroa. Yes. Thank you. What do you see here in this picture? I think chicken. 
Okay. Um, Fry. Fried chicken. Very Fried good, chicken. right. Pollo can better, right? Yes. Very good. <laughs> Some pollo, man. That's good. Okay, thank you. Read the statement, letter A, and then agree with this person, please. I don't like greasy food very much. Either can I? Either can I? Okay, either goes at, at the beginning or at the end? The end. At, at the end. Oh, very good. Uh, very good. So, what is what is the expression? Um... I can either. I can? I can either. Okay. Do we have can in the sentence? In la primera? I don't, I don't either. Oh, don't very good. Either. Wonderful. I don't, I don't either. Very good. Very good, right? So you need to check, check what is the expression that they give us. See? We need yeah. to check the expression so we can say, oh, yep, yeah, very good. Aquí porque ya no nos dan la opción. Porque la primera que me dijo, yes, it's correct, right? Neither do yeah. I, but mm -hmm. in the exercise, because ya nos dan la option, so there is no chance. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Thank you so much. And Sandra, hello, Sandra. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Sounds mm -hmm. good. What do you see here in this picture? What is this food that we have here? Salad. Oh, do you like salad? Yes. Oh, where where do you like usually it. where do you usually have a salad? And tomato. Oh, oh. tomatoes. Okay, thank you. And cucumbers. Cucumbers, yes. Mm -hmm. And lettuce. Le lechuga. Lettuce, very good. We have mm -hmm. a lettuce. What else? Mm. Uh, tomato. 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 Spinach. 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 Very good. Very good. Thank you. Do me a favor, please. Read the statement A and then agree with this person using two. I want to eat healthy food for lunch. I do too. Oh, very oh. good. Yes. I, two, two. Yes. Very good. So this is the way we agree with people, right? So we agree with people. We can use either. We can use uh, neither. Also, we can use so and also to. Just don't forget that you need to be playing with the uh, context that they give us the... Um, the sentence, right? Is the sentence is affirmative. So basically, we need to work with uh, something that is um, affirmative, right? And that sentence is negative, so we need to work with something that is negative, right? Also, be careful with neither and also either. Remember that these two, these two all, like most of the time goes with negative statements, right? Like this one. I don't like greasy food very much. I don't either, yeah? So neither and either, like most of the time goes with negative uh, sentences. Like, I don't like, I don't know, I can't eat, and I am not into this, yes? So we can use neither and either. And the other ones, so and to goes with usually affirmative statements, like I don't want to eat, I'm sorry, I want to eat healthy food for lunch. I do too. Yes, or in case you can say, so do I, so do I. So this is the way we agree with person and don't forget that, we, I'm sorry, with people. And also don't forget that sometimes we also uh, disagree. And when you disagree, you say a opposite thing, right? Like here, for example, I, I want to eat healthy food for lunch. And if you disagree, you can say, oh, I don't like vegetables, so um, I'm going to have something else. Yeah, or I don't like salad. I'm going to have something else. So you say something that is the opposite of the sentence before. Okay? So, people, uh, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate everything you do. Don't forget to practice your English, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye.
Bye, everybody. Good evening. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Thank you.